guided live African safari. We are on the edge of the Musiara Marsh. Um, not 100% sure who the female is, but these six young nomadic males seem to have set up shop in this area. I have seen them a couple of times before, but quite far from here. My name is Brent Yeosmith. I have Dangerous Dave Eastor on camera, and Nicholas is our ranger who's looking after us. And we've been out all night, so if we stumble over our words a little, we apologize. Now, last night, for those of you who are watching uh, the Sunset Safari, I said, I think we're going to get lucky and the rain is going to miss us. I was wrong. Very, very, very wrong. Uh, Dave and I managed to get a little damp. But we managed to keep all the kit dry. And uh, we, had to, we had to park and hide from the rain at, under the Musiara gate. And then we got going again at about 4 o'clock this morning and we found these lions spread out around the marsh. Now, I said there are six young males, but currently this young male is not letting this female out of his sight. And it is not for her lack of trying to escape. She wants almost nothing to do with him, if you watch her body language. And uh, she's being very submissive without being aggressive. She doesn't want to get beaten up. But uh, we go watch now. This could be very... Watch her. She She's not very interested. She tries to move away. But she, she can't get too aggressive with him because he will attack, especially young males at this age. Look how stiff she is. Look how flat her ears are. She has really got... Absolutely zero interest in uh, this, um, how would you say it, um, amorous teenager. As in lion terms, that's probably what he is. He's a, he's a young teenager. Look at her. She is so unhappy. She's showing submission, but she's also showing that she's not happy with his presence. And he's growling back at her. Now, of course, he wants to mate. She's probably not in estrus. And uh, you find she's possibly trying to get back to the rest of her pride. But with these uh, six boys around, it's proving difficult. Now, they were all here together a bit earlier. And now there's only two males here. The other four have walked off towards the edge of the forest around Governor's Camp. And you can see every time she moves, he set marks to try to uh, maintain a bit of dominance. Now, we've got something that hasn't really happened before to us, Dave, has it? Uh, we are on the edge of uh, the Musiara Swamp, and uh, we are literally being attacked uh, by... Let's have a look. What do they look like? Now, in South Africa, the sort of general term, oh, they're even mating, would be muchies. So, uh, and we are absolutely... There's a mating... Um, it looks like a midge or an ant of some kind, but we are... <laughs> there's the mating the mating pair over there. Um, the, it looks like the dark black ones are males and the reddish ones are females. Now, I'm not quite sure. Oh, they could be adult stoneflies, would be my guess. Um, now, the stoneflies... Uh, are very, very cool little insects. They've been going, uh, completely buzzing around my head. So what happens with stoneflies is that the larval stage uh, lives underwater. And what they do is that their saliva can act like a glue and they'll collect little bits of pebbles and build an in a stone casing for their abdomen and thorax and their softer parts. And uh, when they get threatened, they can actually go inside and close the door. Um, and they have lots of thousands of different species of stoneflies. Now, I'm just looking at their body shape. That's what I think it is. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it is uh, quite exciting. Now, of course... We're not the only people out and about, and you are thoroughly spoiled today because you get to go on safari in Kenya and South Africa simultaneously. So let's go see what Byron's plans are for the morning.